It seems like as long as there's been drilling for oil and gas, there have been concerns about the industry's impact on the environment. Joel Crane tells us about an issue that conservation groups have raised. It's called flaring. Flaring. It's an economic suck, according to some. It's a loss of revenue, right? So like that's revenue that could be going to things like after school programs or uh, housing, all kinds of things. I mean, it's not going to be a vast amount of money, but it's still money. They say it's a health concern as well. I hear of uh, people um, having uh, respiratory problems, uh, children, um, nosebleeds. Representatives from Dakota Resource Council say more of it happens on the Fort Berthold Indian Reservation than off. The data that um, some groups like Environmental Defense Fund um, have recently done around North Dakota has shown that there's actually more flaring on the reservation than off the reservation. But representatives from the oil and gas industry say that's simply not the case. This is an incredible misrepresentation of the facts by the Dakota Resource Council and gas capture is actually higher on the trust lands on the Fort Berthold Indian Reservation than anywhere else in the state. That data comes from the Department of Mineral Resources, but Skokis with the DRC believes the self-reported figures of 95% plus gas capture are incorrect. It's very unscientific. I mean, oftentimes there's not like, there's not a scientist with the controls telling them exactly the volumes that are coming out of the, each of those wells. On that point, industry leaders also disagree. The Dakota Research Council is conducting its own data collection on air quality and methane emissions on and off the reservations. Those findings will be published next week.